our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a judo fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce Hitchcock! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 19 wins, no losses. He stands 6 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, Israel, the last guy. the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? submission acumen, he's more than willing to engage him on the ground. A lot of times guys fight with their ego. They try to go and fight their opponent in their spots. Let's see if this proves to be a very bad decision. All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand Make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, that's a nice strike. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. <laughs> Left hook to the head. Working out of that southpaw stance. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. Midway through round one. Beautiful body kick. Oh, well done to block the elbow there. Good defense. All right, single collar tie now. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Overhand right, swing and a miss. Slips the punch nicely there. Nice kick. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over. He's hurt bad. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Buffer. Back to his feet. Buffer gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. What a body kick. Oh, high-level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Adesanya. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, effective use of the jab by Adesanya. Just missed with the left there. Buffer's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. You have the power to put anybody away. This round, let's go back to the same game plan. I want you to stay. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out. But it does excite me for the next round. 
Second round underway. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch. A lot of different looks. He switches to southpaw now. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Let's go. You can do this. Keep going forward. Way to hide that leg kick. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Just misses there with the left. So a much different approach from him here in round two. It took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Clipped him with the right hand there. Another punch to the head. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh, massive kick. Didn't see that one coming. And he switches to southpaw. Nice stick with the right hand. Final seconds here of round two. Ooh, what a punch. All right, that's the end of round number two. Striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. Third round straight. underway. Buffer gets hit with a kick. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Buffer gets up, but he looks dazed and confused. Yeah. 
game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice stick with the right hand. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent start to slow down. He cannot take oh. any of those kicks. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. Deserves this moment. Good finish this fight. Fighter trying to pass here. Uba gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Nice kick there by Adesanya. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Back to the feet. Looking for that left hand, just missed. All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight, he'll be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 30-26, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Israel, the last battle bender, Alessandra. All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person that truly did dictate if the fight was standing or on the ground. 